So, did you know that if mulch is piled up around trees and shrubs and garden beds, that it suffocates and can kill the plant life because the moisture is packed around these evergreens and sitting and the reason I'm making this video is because not only can you serve your client at a higher level, this is an added service where you can make more money where you're already on the job site and you're helping the client, so it's a win-win. This property right here, we're trimming all the trees and all the shrubs on the whole property, weeding out all the garden beds, cleaning everything up and putting down six yards of fresh double shredded black uh, hardwood mulch. But what I noticed when I was walking around the property with the client, thank you, Daniel Mirval, certified arborist in Chicago for teaching me this because I didn't know what it, what it was landscapers do. We just keep putting down more and more and more mulch every year, but we're not thinking. And I started to notice as I was walking around after 10 years of this client having more mulch being laid in the garden beds, it was piling up and compacting and there was too much. And I was like, oh my God, if we put mulch down, we would do a disservice to this client if we packed even more mulch, because if you look at these evergreens here, it's literally packed up. And here, look at this. See that? I hope you can see it. It's packed up like, like seven, seven, eight inches around all these shrubs. Look at this. So we're removing it. See? How we started to dig in there? You can't even see the flare, right? the flare, the base of the plants and trees. So what we're doing is we're going around the perimeter of every single, see that pile? Yep, that's good. And we're just taking, you know, a two foot perimeter and digging down back down to soil and getting the mulch out of there and charging the customer for it piling it all in the dump trailer and taking it away. So um, when you let your customer know about that, say, whoa, you know, we should actually take the mulch away. And obviously you gotta take away from the edges. So there's a nice beveled lip for the new mulch to sit inside of. But a two foot perimeter, or even the wider the better, right? Go and shovel the old mulch out of there and bring it back down to grade so you're not piling it up and doing mulch volcanoes and suffocating the tree. See, we're raking it up around here. Just a little something that I learned and you can charge the customer more, the customer appreciates it. And the customer is like, wow, I noticed that my evergreens were starting to turn yellow or look like they're dying or they're declining. And, you know, I don't know for sure, I'm not a certified arborist, but it could be because they're suffocating in all the rain we have that's sitting inside of the soil and it's just, you know, can cause fungal infections that go all the way up the evergreens because there's too much water sitting on the shrub. So, but the, but the hard part is, look at this. This is all this mulch we're taking away. There's all the trimmings back there. And here's all the soil and sod from where we're pulling out of these garden beds. We're trying to separate it because the dump we go to won't let us dump it all at once. So now we got a problem of trying to separate it. I don't know, does the, does the dump you go to, do they let you dump mulch there? The dump I go to doesn't, we have to go to a different place. But anyways, that's just a little something I picked up as well as adding ornamental tree trimming to anything you're doing for clients. I, I remember guys ask me, a lot of lawn care guys say, how the heck do you even survive if you're just doing shrub trimming and property maintenance and mulch and decorative stone. We're doing, you know, maintenance and actual landscape jobs and landscape installs. And so most of the lawn care guys that I know, because I used to be a lawn care guy myself, are so busy cutting grass that they don't have time or they barely have time or unless they launch another crew to get into the maintenance side. So if you're the owner operator and you're on, out in the field trying to work, then you don't have time to go out and sell and meet all the clients to sell them on property maintenance, pa property maintenance packages and landscape installs unless you do launch another crew, right? Now you gotta be in two places at once, but that's a whole nother story. Clean off the lens here.
It's been raining for a month straight in Michigan. I bet you're very, very, very busy trying to do 20 things at once. And uh, so am I. Cool as a cucumber. We're moving in a week and a half. Isn't it funny how everything hits right in the busiest season? Yeah, dog. This is all a game. It's just a game. And I think that the rate at which we overcome our self-limiting beliefs determines where we'll be in a few years. Right? Hit the subscribe button, dog. Say what's up to Daniel Mirval in the comments. Thanks for teaching me that, bro, about the mulch volcanoes and not piling mulch around customers' trees and stuff. Thank you. All right. Peace out. And hit me up on Instagram at Keith Kelfus. All right, later.